Today we're gonna to install this cheap digital hour meter on this brand new Westinghouse iGen 1200 generator. Now this digital meter can be installed on any generator with a spark plug. This will allow you to know when to change the oil, do maintenance, and for me most importantly, allows me to calculate the efficiency of the generator so I know how much gas I'm burning per hour. So let's go ahead and install it. So what comes in the kit, this is what you get. You get the meter itself, the cable that goes with the spark plug, and a couple of screws. Now I decided I'm not gonna use the screws because I don't wanna I don't wanna screw into my brand new generator. Instead I'm gonna use VHB tape and just VHB tape the meter to the generator. So let's do it. Now it's as simple as taking off the spark plug cap right over here with a screwdriver. Now this comes with no instructions at all, so you just gotta figure it out. Now this basically works with induction. All you do is you wrap the wire around the spark plug wire, and when the spark plug fires, it's telling the meter the engine's running. And all it does is simply count the time. So you just take one part of the wire, shove it in this crack, And the other part of the wire, which you don't need to have it any longer than you need it, I think what I'll do, try to figure out where I can put it, where it's not gonna get bumped. Probably right there is fine. I'll just stick it right there, and I can cut this wire short. But let's just make sure it works. I took the spark plug wire cap off. Here's the spark plug wire. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this around a couple times. Then I'm gonna fire up the generator and make sure the meter works. Okay, so it's wrapped around the spark plug wire. And here's the meter. Now let's see what happens when we start it up. Okay, that symbol's blinking, meaning that it's counting. So it's working. See, and then it stops blinking. That tells you that it's working. So I'm just gonna cut this cable shorter, mount this right here with some VHB and we'll be done. Okay, since we already have one end wrapped around the spark plug wire, what I'm gonna do, it says we're gonna just run it out. Probably gonna run it up and over or, let me see if it actually works if I just put the cap on. Yeah, you know, that's fine. So we'll just go ahead and cut the wire about right there, and that'll let the meter feed it. Now I didn't touch this with my bare fingers, so it should be all right to VHB. Now I did get some crud there. I don't have alcohol on me to clean this properly, so I just got some water, a paper towel, clean that surface, clean that surface, dry it right off real good. And you know, it's no big deal. If this comes off, I can reapply it later. I just want to get this done. The sun's going down and I'm hungry. There we go. I wanna check it one more time to make sure that it is working before I put the spark plug back on. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to install a digital hour meter for any generator. If you liked the video, don't forget to thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. Don't forget, we also have an Amazon page, hobotech.tv-amazon, where you have over 400 van and RV life products. All the stuff you guys need to live on the road. I've been doing this for two years now, over two years. And every time I find something that I need, I put it on that Amazon page so that you guys 
get an easy start. We also have a Patreon community where you can see things like this and basically find out about any kind of tech things that I'm doing or any kind of projects I'm working on. Patrons find out first. I post to Patreon regularly and if you're really into knowing what I'm doing in my life, if you want to know in advance before the video ever comes out, that's a great place to go. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. Greetings. It has been several days since the unboxing video and I want to show you guys how many hours I got on the new Westinghouse generator already. Not sure if you can see that or not, but it says 54.8 hours. Now I'm already on my third oil change. I changed it at 19 hours. They say at 20, but uh, that's when it ran out of gas. So that's when I decided to change the oil. Um, I switched it to 5W30 full synthetic. I got the good Amazon basics oil. And then I changed it again at 50 hours. It basically is another 30 hours after the first oil change. And so now I'm on my third fresh oil. And when I dumped it out the second time, it was kind of like dark. Uh, so it was a good thing that I changed it then. I think the manual says you can do it after an additional 50 hours, but I wanted to change it at 20 then 30 and now I'll do it from now on at 50. It didn't really burn any oil at all. It hasn't stalled out once. It starts up no problem. Uh, it has no problem running any of the loads that I threw at it. It even runs my microwave. Now that really surprised me because my microwave says 1150 watts inside of it. It uses 1150 watts to produce 700 watts of cooking power. But when I run the microwave on this thing, it shows up close to 1000 watts. It's like 900 something watts, like 900, 950. So this runs my microwave and I was like, woohoo. Now I don't have to drain my batteries to run my microwave. And that's just awesome. And of course it runs the instant pot, no problem. So yeah, so far I'm very, very happy with my investment. We're gonna see down the road, you know, several months down the road how it holds up over time. I'm gonna take really good care of it. Uh, most of the time it's gonna, just gonna be used for air conditioning. Uh, I probably won't need to use it to charge my batteries during the summer or maybe even during the fall because it's got, I got 500 watts of solar now and it's nice and sunny most of the time out here in the desert. So we'll see, we'll see how it is, how it holds up in the long run. So Odin. How do you like the new generator? How many Fs do you give that we have a new generator? The only reason you care is because you get this nice, cool air conditioning. And you get like your nice new blue suckle blanket. He likes to suck on this like it's his mommy's teat. Yep. He's still just a little baby. A 10-year-old baby. No ass given. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Brando Fear Army Golf Guy, Joe Lazaro Pat.